are awesome. The ice cream is Molto Bennett. And what's really cool, everyone walks everywhere over there, which would explain why Italians make such good shoes. Another universal mystery solved. And the people are so nice. I feel like I made a gazillion new friends. My personal review, the boot chip country is hands down off the hook. I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume off the hook is a good thing? You got that right. Thanks for the ride, Samuel. My pleasure. Sophisticated, yet femme. And the swank factor, a solid 10. Stellar call, Paul. If I didn't know you better, I'd think you were my best friend. <laughs> Question. How come you're taking pictures of your new clothes? Answer. So, I'll have my entire post-winter, pre-spring collection at my fingertips. I set this up before I left. Bolt, Lila. Samuel's giving me that you're on a different time zone, so it's time to go to bed look. All that in just one look. Hm, I'm good. See you at school tomorrow. Not if I see you first. Time to wake up, Polly. Time to wake up. Ugh. And now for my morning fashion fix. <laughs> Circus, anyone? My name's Polly, and I'll be your tour guide this afternoon. Hmm, getting warmer. I know what it needs. You can run, you can't hide. Oh. Seem to be doing a pretty good imitation of hiding. There you are. What up, Rochelle? Sam's dog, different day. Heads up, players, and I do mean you. Lila, Leah, Shani, and Anna. I'm at the corner of books and mystery me. So are we. To say that I missed you guys is the understatement of the century. Love the shirt. Love the purse. The whole ensemble, Polly. Loving it. Welcome back, Paul. Thanks, Anna. Did I miss anything? Preferably something scandalous? <laughs> Not even. But guess whose band was picked to play at the school dance? Ours? Sweet! So, it's my favorite time of the year. Project time. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. I see you don't share my enthusiasm. Tough toenails, you're doing it anyway. Beth, Tori, Evie, Simon, and Frank, your topic is the Earth's layers, entitled Journey to the Core. Simon and Frank? Get real. Polly, Leah, Anna, Lila, and Shani, your topic, the mystery of the lunar eclipse. And remember, you're all responsible for writing a portion of the project. I'm done with that. You'd better be, because this project counts for one third of your grade. This is not good, people. Bottom line, if I don't get a good grade on this project, my parents will ground me. Remember what happened last time? You be the judge, mole, friend, or foe. <sighs> and if I have a repeat performance of said Snorfest, I'll get a bad grade, get grounded, and I won't be able to play the dance. 
If Lila can't play at the dance, neither can we. That is so budget. But I've already perfected all my rock star poses. This one's called You Love Me But I'm Too Cool to Care. <laughs> Chillax, girls. You're forgetting one important detail. We're a team, which means we can all get bad grades. That's one way to go. But I was thinking more along the lines of working together and coming up with something mad brilliant that'll blow the roof off this place. Not literally, of course. But how can we get inspired by a lunar eclipse when we've never seen one? I've never worn five-inch heels, but I know they'd trash my feet if I did. Good news! There's gonna be a lunar eclipse this weekend. Bad news, we're on the wrong side of the world to see it. Confuse me? When the moon passes through the Earth's shadow, it can only be seen from the side of the Earth experiencing night, which unfortunately is not our side. Oh, bummer. If it was here, I would have taken pictures. Wait a minute. Shawnee, did you say wrong side of the world? Hey, Dad, it's me. Question, do we still have that island in the South Pacific? Cool. Answer, yes. Can my friends and I use it? <laughs> what kind of surprise? Surprise? He says we'll find out when we get there. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. I'll see you in Tokyo next week. Did you guys get all that? Ugh, quick recap. If that Lila chick doesn't get a decent grade on a science project, Polly in the pockets can't play at the dance. And that's a good thing? Yes, Avi, that's a very good thing. Why should Polly's loser band get to play at the dance? Why can't we do it? Because we don't have a band? Details. How do we make this not happen? If they're getting real pics of a real eclipse, they'll probably get a real A. <laughs> not if I can help it. Hiya, Polly. I heard you guys are playing at the dance. That is so cute. Thanks, I think. But it all depends on us acing this project. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll get the best grade in class. You always do. Unfortunately for me, who always comes in second, and then I have to explain to my parents, who expect me to be number one and won't give me a break. Pardon my freak fest. No big D. Good luck with your project. I'm sure you'll do awesome. I'm sure you won't. What'd she say? She sure will do awesome on our science thing. Polly's. How come Polly gets to work with her best friends and we're stuck with Simon and Frank? Because it's five kids to a project and there are only three of us? And why is that? How come Polly gets four best friends? I forget. What did Polly ever do to you? She exists. Isn't that enough? Watch and learn, people. But watch from over there. Hmm. How you doing? <gasps> um, Laura, isn't it? Lila. And you should know that by now, since we've been in the same class since kindergarten. Oh, I'm sorry. Bad with names. <laughs> I heard you're planning on taking pics of the eclipse and thought you could use this. It's got filters, a telephoto lens for, you know, um, night photography and junk, and lucky you, I just put in new film. That is so cool! Thanks! Wait, why would you loan your really, really expensive camera to someone whose name you don't even know? I've known you since kindergarten! <laughs> Besides, I've seen your stuff from photography class, and you are, like, way pro. Me, I'm just a total amateur. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a giver. This sure beats Saturday morning chores. That reminds me. I was supposed to help my brother clean up the basement this weekend. And I was so looking forward to it. We can turn around if you want. Let me think. Basement? Island. I'm gonna have to go with island. <laughs> <laughs>
You are now free to dance about the cabin. Airplane food was gross, never flew with Polly Pocket. Now for the in-flight demonstration. Below your seats, you'll find a complimentary bag in your favorite color. It can be used as a purse, a beach bag, a backpack, or a flotation device. <laughs> Kidding! And inside is everything a girl needs for the lengthy overseas plane ride. Flavored lip gloss, ionized face mister, bottled water, and moisturizer. Everyone who's anyone knows the number one rule of flying. Don't dehydrate! Ladies, we have arrived on Pocket Island. Really? Yeah! Current weather conditions, sunny and awesome. Am I correct in assuming you girls are ready for your surprise? You read my mind, S-Man. Ta-da! Surprise. kicking it old school, documenting every step in my journal. We are so gonna ace this project. Lila, don't jinx it. Was that a dolphin? Yeah, one of them is still in the lagoon. And I don't think it's there by choice. The tide's out. It's too shallow for him to swim over the rocks. He's trapped. Can he wait in the lagoon until the tide comes in and then swim out? No, I read the gravitational pull is stronger during the eclipse. In a few hours, the water will be so low, he could get beached. 
Wait, remember when one of the dolphins jumped through that arch? Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's the one place where the rocks are only a few feet wide. But I don't see the archway. In fact, it's so dark I can't see anything. I can. Look. We're missing the eclipse. What about our project? I can handle it. You guys do what you have to do to save that dolphin. I know that arch is around here somewhere. It's so dark I can barely see you guys, much less that arch. Don't worry, we'll get you out of here. <gasps> Look. I've never seen anything like it. Make a Yui at the big pointy rock. And then drive straight toward the part of the beach where those creepy looking sponges are. It'll be the fourth rock on your right. We're on our way. Come on, boy. Follow us. Now what do we do? As per your request. For the solid S man. Here you go, boy. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Girls, I think it's safe to say our teamwork is federal. Federal? <laughs> it's a good thing. Stellar directions, Lila. Next time I get lost, I sure hope you're around. What can I say? It's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> to the South Pacific, saved a dolphin, and got our project done. Now, how cool is that? Are those the pictures? Yep, my mom dropped them off. <gasps> this is not happening. <gasps> it's happening. Are they that bad? If by bad, you mean hideous, tacky, and unusable, then yes, they're bad. They're double exposed. You must have taken them over another roll of film. Yeah, over Beth's lame shots from a cheesy family picnic. She told me she put a new roll of film in there. What do you think? Accident or sabotage? Sabotage! Genius, sister girl. Pure genius. Hey. It's not my fault she was too dense to check the film. <laughs> I guess this means Polly and the Pockets won't be playing at the school dance. <laughs> it's just too sad for words. <laughs> and though the actual eclipse took place in less than an hour, its image will be burned into my memory forever. Oh. My part of the speech is lame. If only the pictures would have turned out. Pictures would have been great. But we worked hard, and our project is awesome. Oh, good. It's time for class. Something to distract me from my misery. Whoever said a picture's worth a thousand words was, like, way smart. Later. Let's hook up at my house after school. Shawnee, bring your laptop. Anna, bring your pad. And Leah, bring your brain. I have a plan. Knew you would. I liken the Earth's crust to an everlasting gumball. The mantle and crust, the hard, sweet, crunchy outside, the outer core. The soft, tangy, sour part in the inner core, the bubble gum center. 
Thus concludes our journey to the core. And though beautiful in and of itself, there's more to a lunar eclipse than the visual play of shadows and light. An eclipse is a perfect example of how the separate elements of the universe work together to create something magical. Get on it. 